onto the market in the last few years we've had some really new and exciting oils come along um, and these oils have really given us now the opportunity to be um, in a position where we can improve uh, a process quite significantly are you using oil at work did you know there's different types of oil because i didn't i just thought oil was oil i'm in the tech corner with david from omita to find out all about it so david what are the different types of oil? Um, I think, Tom, if you were to go back 30 years, um, you would have seen something like this, uh, a, a very dark mineral oil with just some additives and that would have given you a level of performance. Um, onto the market in the last few years, we've had some really new and exciting oils come along. Um, and these oils have really given us now the opportunity to be um, in a position where we can improve uh, a process quite significantly. I think um, the, first, or the two that we really want to look at are, are these two here, the, the GTL oils, which means gas to liquid, um, and the ester oil technology. And I think the first thing that you notice when you look at them um, is, is the purity of the oils. Now, these two oils are engineered oils. They're, they're, they're not just a hydrocarbon that we drag out of the ground. Um, these oils are, are ultra pure, and, and that's what makes them um, so clear. In terms of performance levels, um, one question that we always get asked is, is Flashpoint. Um, is my product going to catch fire? This is obviously very important because people have uh, insurance to pay, they have expensive machines, there's a lot of um, fire extinguisher equipment that they need to fit. So, so when you look at the, the graphs here, and these are all DIN standard tests on, on Flashpoints, you can see, again, the, the GTL oils and the ester oils are significantly um, more improved on the flashpoint than, than the, the, the mineral oils. So a huge safety advantage in taking a look at these uh, ester and GTL oils. Um, another advantage that I think is worth um, having a look at is the, um, the evaporation of a product. Now, the, the evaporation um, affects multiple things really. The first thing is consumption. The more you evaporate, the more you lose, the more you have to pay to refill. Um, when you take a look at a mineral oil, uh, again, a DIN standard test, and uh, this is where we heat an oil to uh, 250 degrees, you can see the evaporation level is, is 44%. If you move over to the ester oils, you can see that evaporation or that, that loss of oil essentially um, drops down to 8 and 6.5% huge difference so massive cost saving potential here but it's not just about um, cost it's also about the operator's environment as well the operator has to work near the machines and so the more oil in the atmosphere makes that an extremely unpleasant environment for that person but also it affects the shop floor everything gets tacky and sticky um, and it's not a very nice place to work so so cost saving but at the same time keeping you guys happy that, that's a big important thing I think another thing that we should um, look at is the health and safety side of things. So the ester technology um, is a, a really safe product to use. It, it's, it's from a renewable resource, um, it, it's vegetable based, uh, very, very, again, very pure, very high performance. But the advantage is with anybody using uh, an oil below the viscosity of 20.5, so that's a lot of machining processes, um, sliding head machines, that type of thing. Um, you would have to put, uh, or there comes with the product, uh, an exploding chest on, um, symbol on the derma, has a hazardous label essentially. With anybody using ester oils, no matter what viscosity, there is no hazardous labelling. So f for companies who are looking for really high performance, low consumption, a really good flash point, um, then look for both the esters or the GTLs. And if you're looking for a real health and safety step forward, um, then look at the esters. It's, it's got all four. And so I, I would seriously have a look at the process, um, or your oil process at the moment, because now is a great time to, to make improvements there. And then obviously the health and safety point is, is such a big point because mm. machinists who have been working for 10, 15, 20 years with, this, with oil, obviously you don't want that getting on your lungs. So with all this data, why would people use anything else but the GTL or the ester oil? Um, I, I think it's just having the information available to them. I, I think um, it's really about educating um, end users of what's available on the market, really. And I think that's where Ometer excels. Um, we, we don't sell products. Um, we advise people. Um, 
or consultancy, I think, really, is the best way to describe it, is we, we come and talk to them about their processes. And we don't just say, buy this because we think it's good. We actually show you the data uh, about why it is good. And, and I think people um, start to trust us. So I, I think for, from our perspective, it, it's our, our aim, really, to try and get as much knowledge about how products um, perform differently with each other um, and how you can improve your process. So I, I don't think there's any uh, other reason than just people aren't aware and, and the reason we're stood here is we're trying to make people more aware. So if people have watched this video and like you said haven't aren't aware of these different types of oils then how can they get in contact with you to find out more? Yeah um, just give us a call look look on the website come and find us that way um, you'll find us on LinkedIn you, you'll see people using our products um, so yeah co contact us via those three means we, we'd, be, we'd love to come and see you. Thank <music> you.